Hi guys, it's Paul from Internet Marketing Hustle. Today I'm going to show you how to block out sensitive information in your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So as you can see, we have a video clip here and it shows me typing in an email address and a password to Amazon. Now, if this is your private email address, you might want to keep it to yourself. You might not want to broadcast it on a video that is going to be seen by you know, tens of thousands of people on YouTube. So what we do is this, we add a title, and we add a default still. We click on OK. And now what you want to do is you want to add a rectangle just over the box where you type in the information. Now don't worry about the color. What we do is we'll just make it red so you can see it a little bit easier on the video. Um, so here it is, it's placed. And then you don't need to click OK or anything, you just click on Close. And you can see that it's been added to the project folder here. Now what we need to do is we need to find whereabouts in the video we start to type our email address. So it's about here. So if we drag this over, and you want to extend it for as long as the text is in the box. So there we go. So that has blocked out the text from the box for the entire clip of the video. Now, at the moment, that doesn't look very nice. It looks, well, pretty ugly, to be honest with you. So what you want to do is you want to add a mosaic effect to it. So you right click on it, click on adjustment layer. Now this turns it into an adjustment layer so we can add adjustments or effects to it. Go to the effects panel and type in mosaic and there it is, it's under video effects, stylize, mosaic. Click and drag that onto the default still. And now you see that it's changed it into a mosaic. It doesn't really look much like a mosaic at the moment, but it will once we adjust some settings. Now, another thing to also do is just to bring in the opacity of the, of the layers. You can see it just kind of jumps in there and it doesn't really look too nice. It's nice if you kind of blend it in. But anyway, let's, uh, first of all, let's change the mosaic. So to change the look of it, we just have to change the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks. So click and move your mouse to the right to increase it, or you can drop it down and you've got a slider here. As you can see, as I change it, it's actually changing, it's adding more horizontal blocks into the mosaic. So, you know, you can do this to whatever you like, and then change the vertical blocks and it should start to look a bit more like a mosaic now. Now, I personally like to keep it so that you can see, you know, an abstract outline of the actual object. I don't like to just have it like that. It, it doesn't look right to me. I'd prefer to keep it like that. I mean, you can still see that it is a box and there's text going into it and it just keeps it looking a little bit more natural on the video, really. So there we go. So we've added the, the mosaic, the blur to it, and there you go. It's blocking whatever I'm typing. Now, let's bring in the opacity of this layer. So if we double click on it, you can see we have the opacity here. Now what we do is we hold control and we click on the timeline. Click it once more. And there we go, so we've added two keyframes. Now we drag this keyframe all the way down to the bottom to reduce the opacity to zero. And we keep this one up at 100 and we'll just drag it along to about there. And all it's gonna do is it's just gonna gradually blur it. Now obviously that is too much because you can still see the first name being typed. So let's just drag it over a little bit more still see the H being typed. So what we could do is we could extend it a little bit more, like so, create that to there. And as you can see, it just blurs in it. For me, it just makes it look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. So that was today's quick tip. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the box below. And remember to like and share and subscribe and we'll get more quick tips out very soon.